in the lobby with Jonas and we're about to find out a little bit more about Rich Racer Unbounded, the next game from Bugbear. Uh, first of all, how did it came to be that you were working on the, the long time favorite uh, for many, many gamers Rich Racer franchise? Well, basically we were looking for a new project to work on uh, uh, after Flat Out and uh, th there have been a lot of opportunities for us luckily and we were able to pick and choose what we wanted to do. And uh, obviously when uh, Namco Bandai came to us with the notion of doing Ridge Racer, we were very, very excited about it, just because it has uh, such a long, long legacy and lots of existing fans. And we felt that there's something very cool we could, we could do there. And uh, for us it was very, very interesting that they were open to taking Ridge Racer into a new, new direction. And uh, it's been very, very exciting to get to work on that. Because I guess even long-time fans felt that maybe the series needed a new direction after the last couple of, uh, of games. Yeah, it's, it's been like, uh, I think it's about five years since the previous Ridge Racer on, on the PS3 and uh, that, that's a long time for a video game series. And uh, maybe Ridge Racer uh, needed something new to be done to it. And uh, I'm, I'm a fan myself and I would buy a vanilla Ridge Racer if they came out with a new one. And uh, I'm ho still hoping that uh, at some point they will, but we don't know about that. But right now, obviously, we, we are focused on Unbounded and seeing what else we could do with it. With it. What, what is it about Bugbear and your games that you feel that Namco Bandai were, were happy with and wanted, why they wanted you to do, to do this game? Well, Bugbear Entertainment has a very long history of doing just racing titles. We are 11 years old uh, in, I think, next month. And uh, we've only, only done racing titles in that time. So we got a long, long history of, of doing that. And we, we understand racing. We understand how to do a good car game. And so whatever else uh, somebody might be worried about, what, what we're doing to reach racer, I'm pretty assured that it's, it's going to be a good racing game anyway. And uh, obviously, when you get a legacy like that, it, it uh, helps the publishers uh, believe in us, that they understand that that's uh, one, one risk off the table, that they, they know that we can do a quality racing title. So it's now more a question of what else can we do with it. And um, yeah, it, it served us very well that we managed to specialize that, that well in the racing genre. And there aren't very many studios like us. So that, that helps us creating our own niche. And, uh, and speaking of that, I mean, can, can fans of your previous games like Flat Out, can they expect to see anything in, in Ridge Racer or Unbounded that that sort of is typical bugbear? Oh, I'm sure. It's going to be a bugbear style Ridge Racer. And uh, while I can't talk about any of the specifics yet, uh, obviously you can expect to see some destruction, as was teased by the teaser and, uh, and, and the little that we have been able to tell you so far. But uh, obviously we're also strong in physics in general. It's not just destruction. It's going to have some of that uh, uh, bugbear like physics uh, simulation going on with the cars. So the handling is going to be nice and, and physical. It is going to feel quite... I wouldn't want to say realistic because it's not a simulation per se. It's still going to be very accessible arcade driving, but it's still going to feel, I think, like, like a bugbear game. And, uh, and it, it would be foolish for us to try to do something that's not Bugbear. That's, that's not what we're good at. So if, if Namco wanted to do a traditional Ridge Racer, they probably would have wanted to do it uh, with their in-house studios, who are certainly much, much better at that style of game. But of course, uh, the key for, for Ridge Racer, in my mind, is, are, t are two things. The music mm. and the drifting. Yeah. So could you say anything about how you're handling those two things? Uh, not any specifics. Uh, we do have a drifting mechanic, and uh, obviously, and uh, the music is something we have been talking about just for the past couple of weeks. Obviously, we understand that it's, it's always been very core to the um, to the franchise, but uh, as we are taking off in a new direction, it's it's going to be different anyway. But uh, I, I can't give you any details on on what it's going to be exactly. But certainly, we are going to be paying uh, quite a bit of attention to it anymore anyway, to try and sort of figure out a new new style of um, audio for this uh, new take on the franchise. Thank you very much for your time.